What's happening, y'all? This is OBB, the Diecast News Guy, and welcome everybody to another Next Gen Diecast review provided by my good friends at Circle B Diecast. Make sure to use that promo code OBBYT to get five dollars off of shipping on your next purchase, and it's gotta be thirty dollars more, otherwise that shit ain't gonna work. And today it's gonna be on the Diecast that, uh, as you guys know, I mean, uh, I'm uploading this video like right after just watching the uh, pretty you know uneventful uh, season finale race for uh, the 2022 NASCAR Cup Series. As we already know, Joe Logano is now a two-time Cup Series champion, so congratulations to him and the guy who finished second, which I guess you kind of say is mostly what been this season's been all about, you know, going winless along with my guy Truex, but today it's going to be on a die cast that I actually did saw this car in person at Homestead uh, for all the wrong reasons. This is on the pretty uneventful Ryan Blaney's 2022 Pennzoil Menards for Mustang for Team Penske. Um, as you guys noticed, I did pick this up for exactly like how the car number is for $12 at the uh, Team Penske hauler. And they had the rest of the Ryan Blaney cars along with the uh, Wabash and the uh, Body Armor cars. So um, I do have the whole set of the uh, cars for now. So um, I know these should be coming out pretty soon. But they also are available in the metal chassis version at Circle B Diecast. But uh, yeah, this is a quite a familiar paint scheme that I think all the hardcore Blaney fans should know. I'm looking at the Roval 2018 race. Um, that's probably the only time he's had good luck here uh, with this paint scheme. Team. But let's go and kick off this iCast review and the official unboxing of Ryan Blaney's 2022 Pennzoil Menards car. And alrighty, guys, we got this diecast out of its box. And man, let me tell you what, guys, uh, I, I, I have, I've had my criticisms with this paint scheme before, and it, it, I know I'm still not really a big fan of it, but I feel like that you know once we get to the side by side comparison of this car from uh, the Gen Six days, I think you'll probably notice that there are some differences to it. But um, as far as I can say, I mean the one big thing I really do not really like about this paint scheme, and then people really like, well, why'd you get this car? I'm a Blaney fan. I still have to get the car regardless. Is that I don't really like the two different types of yellow that are going on right here. So right here we got the Pennzoil yellow, which is supposed to be you know Pennzoil, and then we got the Menard yellow right here where the twelve is and with the and the split. Uh, where the uh, spoiler is too. Um, I kind of wish it was just all one yellow, but I guess they do that to kind of differ, uh, you know, to differ from Joey Logano's Penzoil car, which I mean, I, I kind of have issues with that car as well, considering that I think the 22 is a, is a little small and it's more higher up. But as you see, we do got some paint decal issues right here. You see, we do got some silver uh, paint right there that's on the tires. So that's the wonderful quality control that we got it's from Lionel Racing. And this car also has a working suspension. I know people would be like, whoa, you won't have this issue if you get a metal chassis die cast. I probably would not even spend a million dollars on a metal chassis die cast. Fifteen dollars not worth it, so I'm not gonna complain about that. Just like point out the obvious because that's what these reviews are for. But yeah, guys, this Pennzoil scheme. Let me tell you what, guys. Uh, <laughs> whatever kind of luck we need for your uh, two-time uh, Cup Series champion Joey Logano, every time he drives a Pennzoil car, he always finds luck. Meanwhile, Ryan Blaney, who has driven this Pennzoil car, I mean, like I said, besides the 2018 Rover race, he has had pretty bad luck, especially this year, guys. He drove this car for three races, and we're going to go by down one by one exactly what happened all three races. So the first time he drove this Pennzoil scheme, which is pretty familiar if you guys are familiar with his previous Pennzoil cars, but I think this one does look a lot better. So the Las Vegas Spring Race that happened early on this year, um, I think he was kind of running up front, and then all of a sudden he got into a, you know, a little accident with, um, well, not little, but pretty big accident with Brad. Kazowski, Kazowski just got loose coming off of turns three and four, and uh, Blaney had nowhere to go because you know I think he was running high, and Kazowski hit the wall, and Blaney was there in time, and he got severe front damage, so that pretty much mostly ended his day right there. And then we got all the way to the playoff Bristol race, guys, and this is when <laughs> I think this is when the downhill kind of started for Ryan Blaney because he had a good run in the first two weeks or so during the playoffs, and then once it came down to the third week and more, that's when shit really started hitting the fan, and that's when kind of most of the this season's been for Ryan Blaney, just a lot of missed opportunities he's been right there at the end but just couldn't execute there's always something that goes wrong whether it's the car or you know the, the driver mistakes or pit crew mistakes that that just shows you just how short uh you know um ryan blaney was um for just getting a win and being the only playoff driver i believe uh this season that doesn't have a win which is pretty surprising i mean um it's been a rough year being a Truex and Blaney fan, so, yeah. <laughs> but at least we got some cool-looking die cast. But, yeah, coming back to the Bristol race, guys, uh, he had an absolutely horrendous run at the Bristol uh, playoff race. Um, although I will say, guys, I mean, I will probably wouldn't mind uh, getting the, uh, you know, the playoff version of this car since it will have, you know, a playoff yellow, which looks better than this uh, this Dayglow yellow. The only reason why we had the Dayglow yellow on this is because of the Menard sponsorship. That's the only reason why. But just you never, ever want to have two, of the, two uh, colors that have, like, a, you never want to have, like, like two different shades of yellow on a Pennzoil car. It just doesn't look right, especially one's bright and the other one is what looks like on the Pennzoil packaging, uh, you know, for, for the oil products. Um, just 
it really just kind of interferes with the whole pain scheme. But, you know, I get it. It's like a split sponsorship. But getting back to what I said about Bristol, guys, he had uh, just, like, major tire issues. I think, well, like, the right front. Um, we, we, we saw all the chaos that happened at the Bristol night race, guys. It was complete chaos. Survival of the fittest. Blaney, unfortunately, was one of those victims. And he still made it into the next round. And then we got into the Homestead race, which I did actually saw this car in person, which was really cool. Um, I didn't get any photos about it. Uh, but it was cool to actually get the die cast, buy the die cast at the track and actually see the car so that was pretty cool um blaney had some good runs it looked like he had a good shot just like what majority of these races have been and um yeah let's just say coming out of pit road i think after you know a good cycle of pit stops towards stage two or stage three he uh missed the shift uh missed one of the shifts and uh completely just spun the car out on the you know what like the back entry of pit road uh towards the back stretch and that was quite embarrassing and that pretty much cost him track position to go out and win the race so that pretty much explains how it's been a ryan blaney fan i didn't even notice we do got a rubbed off goodyear or goodyear eagle logo right here uh what happened to the a damn it heck i guess march rick jr's a big a car would like to talk to you about it but you know what, man? This is a solid-looking diecast. I mean, it is pretty tacky but um, with the two clashing yells. But if you're a Blaney fan, I still would recommend picking it up uh, with the... As you know, it's a Pennzoil car, guys. The Pennzoil cars always look nice. Look at that beautiful paint chip right underneath the bell. Um, heck, you know, every time I see that red bell, I just think of, like, the Hunchback of Notre Dame. You know what I mean? Uh, so, <laughs> or Notre Dame, whatever you want to call it. Uh, but I did notice, like, there's some difference about this paint scheme, guys. Um, there's definitely a lot more yellow on this car, guys. Uh, especially when you get to the side-side comparison. Second, guys, we do got a little bit more of, like, some gray lines right here, which I don't think they're metallic. They're just, like, like grayish. But uh, the silver rims are actually... I don't mind the uh, chrome rims on this. I think they actually go well with the paint scheme. But what's even kind of funny, I kind of noticed as well, guys. Okay, so look at Joey Logano's. Um, have you guys noticed that, like, uh, the fire suits never... They feel like they're, like, uh, they don't belong with the right driver. Like, if you look at Ryan Blaney's fire suit, it's all yellow, like Logano's car. And then if you look at Joey Logano's fire suit, it's, it, you know, it's got the white and the gray and the yellow, just like Ryan Blaney's car. So... I don't know why they did that. It's kind of like a, I mean, I, I kid you not. Like, look, look it up. Look, go on Giddy, Giddy Images and look up, you know, both pencil drivers. They have, you know, um, the different uniforms, which is really weird. I thought they would kind of like match it. Um, I don't know why that's the case. I mean, if someone can explain to me or if that's just something that, you know, Penske just wanted them to do. But just that just for someone who's, you know, very OCD about stuff like that. That's just like, what the hell? <laughs> that's like if you mix up like, I don't know, like William, By like uh, like one of the Henrik cars with, uh, you know, another Henrik driver. Um, like, could you imagine like, you know, the, like uh, the HenrikCars.com um like one of Kyle Larson's uh, fire suits, whether it's home or away cars, um, like his fire suits that he wore. Could you imagine that? Like, I don't know, got a more round, uh, uh, like a um, wardrobe malfunction. Look at me, I can't even talk English right now. What is English to like, I don't know, like Bowman or uh, Chase Elliott? I mean, that, that'd be kind of weird. So I just find it kind of not kind of odd. But uh, see all these other sponsors right here. And why? God, look at that paint crack right there. That right there is quite a big crack. Holy Christ, I can already see that. That's what she said jokes coming into the picture. But um, you see right there, we do got... Uh, I kind of noticed that the kitty logo is the only one that's got this weird outline to it. It kind of looks like it's kind of photoshopped. Coming out the back, we do guys. Oh, God. that You can definitely see the big difference in the yellow, man. That yellow looks pretty darn, uh, you know, interesting. And on this side, it should be the same as the other side. But hopefully, it won't miss a shift or a tire. But now, let's go into the side-by-side -side comparison of the Blaney car that we all know and love. Which, thank God, they actually got rid of the yellows, uh, you know, the uh, Dayglow yellow uh, splitter. Because that looks so damn tacky. Um, so, I'm already liking that the red is a lot more uh, brighter and vibrant. As you can see, this is a 20 car which my god look at those rims oh my god i'm glad they got rid of the diglo yellow rims that's probably the only one i did not like so i will say this penzoil scheme does look a lot better just because they have the chrome rims um probably the only time i think the chrome rings the chrome rims actually look nice on this car but if you look at the paint scheme guys it definitely looks a lot more different and i kind of like it guys um they definitely tone down on the white and the gray uh it's more like a silver right here but it's like a gray but it really kind of goes well with how this scheme's laid out i do like how you know it's evenly proportioned like you know they pretty much transformed the paint scheme from this little swoosh like a little nike swoosh into basically like a split paint scheme basically which i like because it really incorporates you know the logos very well you know everything's all neat and organized so you know roger Bensky did a really good job um you know unifying this paint scheme i think it looks a lot more cleaned up compared to this i, that, I don't know this one just looks really dated compared to the one right above me um i think it has kind of aged pr out pretty well um even though you know blaney's had pretty bad luck in this uh Pennzoil car so far for this year hopefully things will turn around and he'll get a little more aggressive next year because i think that's the only thing that's holding him back i mean it seems like blaney only gives like 90 percent of uh you know his effort in these races um you know he's just i think that's just what's just stopping him from being a championship contender he just needs to be i know blaney's not the most aggressive type driver but just he really just 
he needs to start winning races and just start getting aggressive. I mean, I'm not saying you should go out and be like your teammate Logano, as look at me right there. I'm already doing a random zoom right there. That's what happens when you're trying to talk to a diecast, uh, right, when you're trying to talk and multitask at the same time. But hey, whatever though, that pretty much explains, you know, what it's like being a Ryan Blaney fan. Just, you know, a zoom in of just, you know, endless fails and possibilities but hopefully things will be a lot better but like i said congratulations to joey logano getting his second championship i mean well deserved he absolutely dominated that race but i think it's time we finally actually see a change for the finale race um and i think that's you know phoenix is a good track the expanded race was great but and truck series is good too but that cup race was pretty mediocre they gotta really fix the package if not go back to home set for the finale i think that would be a lot better plus it'd be great for you know me as well being in florida but that's all i gotta say about this diecast right here so comment like subscribe this has been obb the diecast news guy appreciate you guys watching these diecast reviews and this is gonna wrap it up on the ryan blaney 2022 penzo Oil menards ford mustang 14 penske comment like subscribe and once again congrats to joey logano he is now a two-time nascar cup series champion